What's going on guys? EJ from The Daily Shave and today we're going to be reviewing the Rosa Rock Hawk. So this is a single edge razor. Honestly, I was not a big fan of actually getting one of these, but I mean for $25, I really couldn't go past the price. So we're going to take the Hawk for its first flight today. And the blade we'll be using today will be the Feather Pro Guards, which I like the case by the way, because it's like a little sliding mechanism that pushes out the blade. So you just pull this back, slide it out, and out would come the blade. And I want to start off by saying, you know, happy Saturday to everybody. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I know I am. I'm off of work. I had to work at 5 in the morning today, so got up really early, so I didn't have time to shave. But now I'm able to do so after work. I'm already showered up, you know, my beard's hydrated. And I just really wanted to review this razor. Honestly, I was not interested in single edge razors at all, like not even when the Mongoose came out, but I just, I had to give it a try. I will be investing in a um, above the tie SE2. So that's the next single edge razor I really want to look forward to getting. Looks wise, I gotta say, it can look a little better in the looks department, honestly. It kind of like the head kind of reminds me of like this old Hoover vacuum kind of look. That's just me. But I mean, we're just not here to judge upon, upon looks. We just want to also see how well it performs, but the grip feels great too. So it's aluminum. So that's why they're able to make it, you know, a little cheaper in terms of, you know, the price point. Cause I know a lot of razors that are single edges, you know, above the tie, you know, they use stainless steel. So it has a more sturdier foundation for the razor. But this right here, this, this can be, you know, sufficient enough for someone who wants to invest in a single edge razor, unless you get a colonial razor. But I heard this one is a little more aggressive. And the brush today that we'll be using is the Rosa Rock Silver Tip Plus Soft Synthetic Brush. I like this brush. I really got it based upon the looks because it looks great. It has a nice see-through acrylic handle. The bristles are nice and soft and I lathered and I played around with it and it's great. It has good, uh, very, very good backbone and the weight feels great on the handle. And the soap today we'll be using is the Soap Commander Influence. Man, I love this aroma. This is tobacco cherry and black tea. This is this is good stuff. I mean, I know it's sold out and I'll have a link to soapcommander.com, but if you happen to, if this goes on sale, buy it. This, it just smells amazing. And then for our post, we'll go ahead and we'll get on with the balm as well and Barberry Coast Havana. This, um, Aftershave Splash, the tobacco based one, it smells, it smells great. It's like, it's really mellowed out, but you can really smell tobacco with cocoa beans in it. And it's just, it's great. It's great stuff. So, you know, we'll go ahead, we'll wet the face and we'll get going. Stay tuned. Great lather. Brush feels great, by the way. And this soap smells amazing. Huh, got a little bit on my nose. Ah. And I was thinking about doing a roundup of my favorite soaps of last year, but my channel's only been around for probably only two months. I mean, I've been wet shaving avidly for three years. It's just my YouTube channel was just really just something just out of eagerness, just me wanting to spread the word on wet shaving. But let me know in the comments below if you really want to know my honest opinion and the soaps that I've been using last year, even before putting up on my Instagram. If you really want me to do a top soaps of the year, top brushes and razors. Just uh, let me know in the comments below if you really feel like you want to see that video and I will go ahead and I'll put that together for you guys. <clears throat> and I am so glad that I'm really getting over this sickness because it really plagued me. Big time, like it hit me like a ton of bricks. Broke out in a cold sweat and had fever. It was just, it was just all around bad. It, it was a horrible week because I was already working overnights and on my days off, you know, times I spend, you know, with my family, I couldn't even go with them to a family party because I was just, I just pretty much laid in bed all week. Well, not all week, but for the days that I was off, which was Wednesday and Thursday, but I was just sick as a dog. All right. Sweat our lathers a little bit, it's a little pasty. I really love this brush though. Um, I had a couple of people message me saying if the brush was uh, custom made to me. I'm like, no, actually it was just an Italian barber. It was on sale for uh, 12 bucks. All right, so now that we got the lather going, we'll go ahead. I read on 
the description, it takes a little learning curve, but I just kind of just dive into it anyway. They say that single edge razor should be treated differently, but I mean, rule of thumb, it should be that still in that same 30 degree angle, but we'll see. One thing I will give the single edge blade, it does cover a larger area of your face. So I will give it that. And on top of being sick, I think on that, coming back to that, cool part was staying at home watching Caddyshack. Great comedy movie, by the way. If you haven't checked that out, you don't know what you're missing, seriously. Ronnie Dangerfield and Ted Knight. It's a very great classic movie. But this single edge, it feels a little weird to me. Just for the simple fact that I never used one before. But it's expected because I never used one actually. So, I mean, what can you do? It just feels really weird. It's not bad. All right, that was a decent first pass. We'll rinse out, we'll go for pass two. One thing I noticed with that first pass, it really didn't quite get as, as a close of a shave as I would with my other double-edged razors. To me, that's what it feels like. But, you know, this is only the first pass. We'll see how it goes. We gotta do all three passes. And on the reason of me wearing the hat, I haven't got a haircut, so my hair looks horrendous. Kind of that typical bed head look. Well, now hat, hat head. But I usually get my haircut every two weeks, but I've just been so busy with work and I've just been so tired, I haven't had time to go to the barber. So that is why I'm wearing the hat. second pass actually felt a lot better than the first one. So okay, we'll rinse out and go for pass three, stay tuned. Just a light lather for the last pass. And it feels weird too, just not rotating a razor to the other side that you're used to when using a double edge blade.
Feel around for any of the spots. All right. We'll go ahead, we'll rinse out, we'll go for the post. Stay tuned. One block. No steaming, so the uh, shave went smooth, which is good. All right, we'll let that set in, and we'll just take a little quick talk about the razor. But before we do that, the soap we used today was Soap Commander Influence. Great aroma. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Carrie. I also ordered your uh, books too, by the way, so I'm looking forward to that for coming in the mail for how to make shaving soap. The brush, Rosa Rock Silver Tip BC Plus Soft. And now the razor. So overall impressions, I'm happy. It gave me a damn fine shave. I wouldn't really say baby, but smooth, just in some areas. But like I said, this is my first fly with it. So maybe within due time, it can grow on me. But for the price, for 25 bucks, you can't beat it. You really just can't. I know at, at one point they were really sold out. I know they got the uh, chrome finish too, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> but it is a decent shaver, for me at least. You know, my heart will always be to a DE razor. To me, using this was like cheating on your girlfriend for some reason. So, but... It, you know, it's it's good. It's good. I mean, I really can't say anything bad about it because it did perform well. And for the price, it's really good too. The blades, ha the blades are a little pricey. I'll, you know, I'll give you that one right there. For 15 blades, I believe this was like 20 bucks. So a little steep on the blade price. But if you can overcome that, I mean, if you're already into wet shaving, you, you know, you spend a lot of money on soaps already and other brushes and razors. So it's just one pack of blades and it's just for a single edge razor. I mean, and let, you know, uh, generally nine times out of ten people who have a single edge blade in their den maybe only have one possibly two possibly two but we'll see how this goes for me and we'll see you know in the near future you will see that review also of the above the tie sc2 eventually right now it's just something that's not really on my you know to go to list at the moment in terms of shaving gear i'm waiting also for the crown king Chevette as well that I know that came back so I'm really looking forward for that so I'm waiting waiting so uh, yeah we'll just go ahead we'll just rinse out real quick and then we'll just get with the post have menthol too so it gives your skin that nice cool refreshing feeling it's great all right now let's go ahead Excellent. It smells great. Good stuff today. Good stuff. I mean, what a way to kick off a Saturday afternoon. Great shave. Get to enjoy the rest of my day with my family. Spend time with my daughter as well. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps up my daily shave. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel.